Hello everyone and welcome back. In Roblox, you can use linear interpolation to place objects between two parts. Here in my workspace, you can see I have a blue ball, which is my starting point, a red ball, which is my end point, and I can use linear interpolation, or also known as LERP, to place the yellow object here in between, anywhere in between the blue ball and the red ball. To do that, I'm going to first make a clone of this object, and then I'm going to set the C-frame of the clone to place it anywhere between here, using a function called lerp. Let's start by going to our service script service. We're going to add a script. In your script, just enter the following lines. On the first line here, I'm declaring my yellow part, which is this part right here, and then the blue part, and then the red part blue part, red part. Next, we're going to wait for 10 seconds before anything starts. And then we're making a clone of the yellow part. So now I have yellow 2, which is a clone of the original yellow part. I name it Y1. And then I'm changing the brick color of my yellow part, yellow 2, to blue. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to change the C-frame of my new yellow 2 part here. So we're going to set the position for that new part. Let's come down here, we're going to say yellow 2 dot C-frame. So we're changing the C-frame of that part. We're going to set it equals to, and again, I want to place that between the blue part and the red part. So the blue part is going to be my starting point. I'm going to start with the C-frame of the blue part. I'm going to say blue dot C-frame. And now we're going to use the lerp function in Roblox. We're going to say colon lerp. Our function has two parameters. The first parameter is the goal, and it's going to be our red part. So we're going to say red. And here we also use the C-frame of the red part. So the first parameter is the C frame of the the ending target, red dot C frame. The second parameter is a percentage. So how many percent away from the starting point? Our starting point is the blue part. In this case, we want the return C frame to be 10% away from our original starting point. So we put point one over here. Next, we're just going to move this new clone part to the workspace. So we're going to say yellow to dot parent. And we're going to set that equals to game dot workspace. In fact, you, you know, let's do two more examples. So we're going to copy all of this. And I'll paste one down here. And one more down here. Each time, we're just going to wait for one second. So here, we're making another clone of the yellow part. And let's name the second one Y5. So our Y1 is only 10% away from the starting point. Our Y5 is going to be 50% away from the starting point, right in the middle of the starting point and the end point. The one in the middle, we're just going to leave the color as yellow as the original color. So we're not changing the color of that part. As for the final one, we're going to change this to Y9, which is going to be 90% away from the starting point. And we're going to change this color to red. So the one that is 10% from the starting point, the starting point is blue. So we, we made this blue. And the one that is closest to the end point, which is 90% um, away from the starting point, the end point is red, and we're making the color of this red. The one in the middle, again, we're not changing the color, so it's going to be yellow. Let's play and take a look. We're going to have about 10 seconds before anything, before anything starts. And there it is. 
that's the 10 percent that's the 50 percent and this one i'm blocking it is the 90 percent right so we go from the starting point which is the ball this is 10 percent away from the starting point this is 50 percent away from the starting point it's right in the middle between the two parts and this is 90 percent away from the starting point which is 10 percent from the ending point so this is basically how you place objects between two points let's take a look at some more examples in this next example here we're going to place an object evenly spaced between the two points so here i have a for loop that goes from one through nine in the first iteration i is one so this is going to return 10 percent so the first object that i'm going to place uh, along the line it's going to be 10 percent away from the starting place after that i is 2 so it's going to be 20 percent and so on until when i is 9 it's going to be 90 percent away from the starting place let's play and take a look and there it goes that's 10 percent 20 percent 30 40 50 60 70 80 and 90 percent away from the starting place so the whole entire thing is 100 percent we we place the object from 10 percent through 90 percent so now everything is evenly spaced in a straight line between the two points in this final example i'm declaring my blue part and my red part and i'm saving the c frame of the blue part which i'm going to use later here the reason I'm saving the C-frame of the blue part is because I'm going to keep on changing the C-frame of the blue part. I'm going to make my blue part walk towards the red part. So that's why I'm saving the, the original C-frame of the blue part so I can keep on using it inside this for loop. And basically we're, we're changing the C-frame of the blue part to make it walk towards the red part. It's going to keep on going every 10% until it reaches 90%, which is very close to the red part, then it's going to stop. Let's play and take a look. I'm going to go to the middle. And the blue part is starting to walk towards the red part. It should stop right now. Alright everyone, that's how you use linear interpolation in Roblox. Thanks again for watching and we will see you again soon. Take care.